This is your daily market review for Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at XP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. This is your daily market review, Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. Been having a great conversation about the psychology of trading in the live chat and we're going to do the quick review if you're new to the channel check out the discord room link is in the description below i appreciate everybody on youtube like subscribe hit the notification bell also drop in these videos on their competitor r-u-m-b-l-e yeah just so if you want to watch it anywhere notification bell check it out be aware also on the twitter posting trades if you have any questions again don't be scared to reach out check out our website thetradingagent.com back to basic series in order for more beginner stuff to more advanced keep telling people if you're worried about your broker going out i like interactive brokers there's a referral link i can't remember what you guys get but everyone wins from it again do not have your money stuck in schwab or td and if they go out of business next thing you know your funds your puts your calls whatever are stuck and next thing you know they close your position out for a total loss it happens also too if you want God, i keep forgetting to update this 5.4 percent goldman remember anything under 250 get that FDIC insurance. Fed fund futures, I'm assuming we're staying at a pause. Yeah, pause, pause, pause. Bitcoin, we said, uh-oh, posted this last night, did not like the action from the previous day. Oil, talk, and here's it again, sometimes you're wrong. Do you chase it? No, but we expected this trend line, which sucks, is I was hoping we get a bounce then. I was thinking maybe head and shoulders, shampoo formation. We didn't get it. OPEC, did nothing. I thought they were going to cut. Even if they just signified a little cut, I think the market would have reacted more bullishly. And the no, the oil uh, numbers came out today, and the uh, gasoline demand fell off a cliff. The supply, or I mean, not off a cliff, but the supplies grew a ton. So again, I like oil on shorts, natural gas. I don't even know why we talk about it, but somebody always asks, like, what do you think about natural gas long term? And I'm like, well, if they're burning it off out of their wells, it's probably not a good time for demand. The dollar. A lot of people are calling for the top for the dollar. I mean, I don't know. I We're not seeing a ton of volume. I don't think there's a lot of conviction selling, in my opinion. Like, I'd like to see, you know, just some more volume along the way. Like, literally, like, there's not a lot of conviction, so I don't necessarily trust it. However, it's been up 11 weeks straight. It pulls back. Okay. Bonds, as we talked about, extremely oversold. Due to bounce. Inside day. Big volume down here. I mean, this is what you'd be looking for for a bottom, potentially. But here's the problem. We know banks are trapped with bonds that have mark to market losses. I don't know if it's going to be like a, I'm not expecting a V. How about that? Just be aware of that. The VIX gets up into the 20 range. You know, I thought we'd get more up into this higher, but you know, we got pretty much where I thought we were going to get. And guess what? Let me move that. We pull back. Okay. Well, remember, in, even in a, you know, when the market was, look at this, like you can, the VIX, this is why I always tell people, like, you don't need, you know, the VIX just isn't going to like, you know, in a downtrend in the market. The VIX isn't just going to blow up every day. That's why I tell you, like, the VXY, you got to be really careful about. Anyway, VIX, man, big $9 drop, close at the low of the day. Maybe we have some more continuation tomorrow with the up market. Just keep that in mind. Again, if you have positions, cash, capital, hopefully you're aware. Spy. I'm just curious. I'm, I didn't have the 10 minute up on another chart. I like watching the 10 minute at the close because we know who, who acts at the close. Okay. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Spy. Are you surprised it got close enough to 200 day? But here's the thing. I personally don't know if we're going to play a game or go lower, but in my opinion, near term, I think we do go lower the 200 day. Just again, I'm, I don't know why we wouldn't just cut through it like butter. Like the last time we decided to cut through the 50 day, cut it like butter, cut through the hundred day, cut it. Like, I don't know why we'd stop here because again, the market priced out with the recession, not really in my opinion. QQQ, chopping around. Looks, I mean, again, it just sounds like Biden, it's time. IWM, we talked about having to hold the 170s. Nice little doge. I mean, it's extremely oversold. Couldn't the market bounce? I guess going there, yeah. I just don't trust this stuff. Now, again, that's the thing. Pick and choose your battles here. Pick and choose your battles. I mean, this might be a trap. A couple days. Tech, my money might roll out of tech. I mean, we're, we could see some things going on here. Maybe they roll into Dia that's been pulling back. Maybe it pulls again. Who knows? 
Just, again, whatever you do, define your risk. Don't go crazy. Gold, tighten it up down here with decent volume. It's, I mean, it should bounce. I mean, you got the three. I mean, you got four gaps. Man, you got so many gaps in the GLD, obviously. But you got oversold conditions. But do you want to go long? Do you want to be the hero? Have the feds pivoted? Nope. Moving right on. Silver, same kind of thing. Do you want to be a hero? You want me to, like, have to put the straight jacket on you just to tell you just to leave it alone? Okay, I can do that. I mean, I'm not surprised. I was just thinking about it when I saw that. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Do you want to trade that? Is that the best trade out there? Ask yourself. Maybe, maybe. I mean, maybe that's what you want to do, but I wouldn't. GDX, make a new lows. Chop it around again. Wait for the feds to pivot. We talk about it. Go back and research older videos, or if you want, I'll send you a quick video of why. GDXJ, made new lows. AG, hey, it held five for now. Chop it around, AEM. Not acting as well, right? And it's multi-day ranging. Uh, Newmont, we talked about the leader of the pack not leading so much. Look at this. Ooh. Pass. Ooh. Back at the lows. I don't know. Your guess is good as mine. All right, Taiwan Sim. Let's get into some techie tech. Chopping around, making a higher low. I mean, it... <sighs> this name is toast. I just don't know when they... Bust out the jam and jelly for it. Uh, Micron, again, if you short up at the 20-day, cool. It's just biding time. It looks, again, 20-day curving down. You got channeling. I mean, look at their earnings. Everyone knew they were crap. They're not going to get any better. I don't know why anyone's buying this except new money, new month, new quarter, trap game. Love the short on the pops. AMD pop today. Now, again, this one's been all over the place. Held the 200-day. Way off the high from the 130s. I mean, it loves, I mean, it seems to the 20 days not as important as the 50 day. So if you're looking to short, did I just identify where it should be? Probably the 50 day. NVIDIA, we talked about Goldman upgrading this two days ago. <laughs> okay. Again, this thing's toast. I mean, if it just because it was up today, I, I mean, maybe, 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 maybe you might be able to back test the trend line, but it feels like it's toast. Intel got a lot of flack for telling people short the upper channel. Man, it didn't even give you like any time. It was just like, zoom, pow. Now it hold the lower channel, 20 day. Some people are talking about that as a short. I cut on, but correcto. SMH, here you go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, chopping around. I mean, there's not much to say sometimes. It's the hardest thing is like people want to fill the time and like be really, ex like my dad watched the video. He goes, your videos are really quick. You're talking through things. I'm like, sometimes there's just not a lot to say. You know, there's just not a lot to say here. <laughs> Adobe, chopping around. I mean, when does it roll? When the market rolls. Apple, so we said, just trying to hold on up here. Maybe it needs to hit that 175 tomorrow. Again, if you got bullets, I gotta write that one down. Cause that might be the most obvious thing. If Apple hits the 20 day, kapow. Cause I think it goes way below the 200 day at some point, kind of like it did when the 100 day. I mean, this channel, ugh, I mean, it's kind of too simple, but we'll see. I mean, maybe it's a, the titanium phone makes all phones turn into grenades. I don't know. Amazon, we talked about the 100 day. Now it's just chopping. CRM, holding the 200 range. If you shorted this post earnings, I mean, it, don't, are you surprised? It's holding support for the moment. The market isn't unloading. Guggenheim, love the short up here. Back testing the channel. God, it's over the 20 day. Could we get back to the highs of 139? Now that has to be in your mind, potentially. Again, define your risk. I mean, I think, I mean, I have my stops around like 137 and change because you can see here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. there's a lot of candle action around this level does it get there probably to trigger stops now it's feeling like it i wish i would have probably paid a little more attention in the close but is what it is meta playing games right chop chop i mean it's just a matter of when if not if not matter of if not when no matter of when not if Microsoft, chop, chop. NDAQ, we talked about this break in the channel. Cool. I mean, it's slightly oversold. I guess you can get people excited about it. Sure. I mean, whatever. MicroStrategy, I mean, Bitcoin all over the... Not over the... Just, just, again, the stock is going to get throttled. Netflix, I mean, it, even in up days, like this market's junk. Or the stock is junk. Just let it base here. It's probably going to get smushed. Smushed. Roblox. Interesting day, 20 day, I mean, 50 day. Again, a lot of these stocks, I mean, some of them we follow just to let them wait out. Tesla, now some people took the short on it today. Now that, I mean, again, revisionist history, now it seems more obvious where they want to take it before it um, 
drops. Probably not necessarily gonna, I don't know, fill the gap. But this area right in here, I mean, could you get the channel high again? I I didn't short it, but I, I mean, trust me, it's it makes sense. I'm not gonna sit here and criticize anyone because it makes absolute sense. Uh, letter X, talk about this being a buyout candidate. Uh, it's holding up. Again, I, I wouldn't short it. I wouldn't go long it either. I don't know what the value of the buyout target would be. Probably somewhere like 33 or 35, not much higher. Uh, Nucor hit the 100 day, 50 day, 20 day. Exactly. We talked about failure. Caterpillar fills the gap. We talked about this is going lower. You can see the gap. It filled it. That's all right. Let it do its thing. This thing is probably going to look like Boeing at some point. Do y'all remember what Boeing looks like here? I'll show you real quick. This is, this is like, you know, it's kind of like Morgan Stanley. Like this is the downtrend you want to see at some point where it's just like, you know, it, but some days are going to have wicks. So are you going to cry about it? I hope not. FedEx, again, if you shorted this up in the 265s, I mean, somebody, uh, Savvy was like, hey, man, I think about shorting. I'm like, just let it, let it play, man. Look, you got the, at least a 50 day. I, again, I think this thing's going to break. It's just, I don't like when it's down three or $4 at the open, you know, because if it does break, well, then you miss it. But always, even intraday, wait for the pops. Valet. That's my that's my speech on that. Valet chopping around. I mean, this ugh. arrow, we talked about people are like, oh man, it's 15 might be a great deal. I agreed. But now with the VIX at 20 and the market barely down. No, I mean, this thing could get pounded. CCJ, we, tall, we called the top. We said that was a double top up there. A trap high. I mean, again, it might, it might be due to bounce from these levels, but again, it looks like it's short. To me, all materials, unfortunately, I think they're all going to get cooked because I think the feds are going to try to apply the pressure and, and control the narrative. CF, before they pump in the liquidity. Mosaic, these all look the same. Just let them mow them back. Mow them back here. Mow them back here. Let us drop. Here you go. Let this one drop. AA, I, I mean, I know some people bought it. I'm like, okay, well, I mean, it's again, you just own it for three days, I guess. All right, I mean, I get that's what you want. You want to fight the trend, go right ahead. Financials, a little oversold. Not surprised at an inside day. Might be a chop day for a couple of days. I don't know. Maybe not. JP Morgan, I know bank earnings coming up. I think is it next week or the following week. I can't remember, but they are coming up soon in October. Yeah, chopping around. Morgan Stanley, we talked about this being a total turd. Hitting the 200. Again, could these bounce? I don't know. Goldman breaks the trend. The channel. I mean, again, just because it's up today, does it necessarily mean it has to go higher? Carry. Again, if you if you short it, just I mean make sure you roll up your stops. You find your risk. Uh carry looks just bad. We talked about the XBI just looking horrible. Right? Like this should be a risk on trade. I mean, it just keeps making lower lows and lower highs. I mean, ugh. Solar. Whoa! Solar had a green day. High five. I mean, this thing has gotten pounded. We talked about solar getting just trash sedge up five points. Man, if it could see the 20-day, maybe. I don't know. These names have been absolutely just destroyed. So they could, I don't believe in a bounce, but it'd be, you have to, I mean, you really have to like, <laughs> I mean, there's just no reprieve. This is hard again, because it's like, you don't know when at some point someone could trigger a headline or some article that they're going to get bought out or, and it's fake or it's bullshit. For solar, same kind of thing. You're welcome. We talked about failure to launch. Talk about the head and shoulders top. Now you're at the next zone of Sopuerto. All right. Again, it just we'll see. Patience. Again, the trends are down, but every day it doesn't have to be down. Remember, even a downtrend, you have up weeks. Talk about corporate debt. Uh-oh. Looks like crap. Oil. If you held on to your shorts, you're smarter than I. We talked about this being a top. Now you're back at some support. Don't be surprised if it what chops around, maybe bounces around. I don't know. Could get absolutely curb stomped too. XOP. Shorted at 154 or 150, you're looking good. Now it's at the channel low. I mean, again, this is why I think there'll probably be a bounce and I don't need a short oil, but I could be wrong. Look at that. ExxonMobil, right? Fill some gaps. Mm -hmm. See what happens. 50 day. I mean, this one's a little trickier, right? Let's look at some, some of the ones. Oxy. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, it closed over 60, like barely. I mean, somebody's coming in here. NPC. Again, gasoline, smash. But it did hold like the 140 area for now. You know, Valero, we talked about, again, all these gas names got cooped. But here it hits the 200A to a T. Again, we like these shorts, but they might need a little more bounce and bounce. PX Dizzle got cooked. You're not surprised, right? We talked about this bounce here. Kaboom. <sighs> EQT held up pretty well today. Actually, got to give it credit where credit is due. 
after coming down from 44. Flex LNG. Yeah, let this come in. I mean, I love this thing. I mean, if we're going to be natural gas exporters, because we ain't going green, this makes sense to me. All right. If you have any questions, again, please reach out. Use the Calendly link. I'm going to leave the open for a live chat after this for another couple minutes. Again, I love the psychology part of this because I think this by far is the definition of how to be successful in trading. It's not about whether you can line up a trade or not. It's how you execute. So let's keep it going. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. The link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.